Homeland star David Harewood admitted to mixed feeling after being told he is to be honored at the property which was funded by his family members being kept as slaves. A portrait of the actor has been commissioned by Harewood House in Leeds, Yorkshire, to better reflect its history and its art collection. The grand 18th century house near was built on the fortune made by Henry Lascelles, through money he earned through the slave trade. The Octos ancestors were enslaved on a plantation owned by the second Earl of Harewood. He visited the house as part of Channel 5 series 1000 Years a Slave back in 2021 as the eye-opening show took viewers on a stark journey back to his roots. Meeting David Lascals, the 8th Earl of Harewood, the TV favorite discussed both his and the house's historical past in the program. The artwork of the 57-year-old has been commissioned and he accepts it's not an easy thing to get his head around. David said, to have my portrait presented at Harewood House brings on many complex emotions. It is a day that is well overdue for me and my ancestors, a day that sees their efforts and hard work finally acknowledged. I am pleased that we have reached a point when this can happen and I hope it might encourage positive change elsewhere. He later tweeted, very much hoping this sparks conversation amongst those who visit the house in the future. The portrait will be part of the The Collection's Missing Portraits series, launched last year to redress the balance of artwork in the Lascelles family house by depicting people of African-Caribbean heritage. David Lascelles and Diane Howes, Earl and Countess of Harewood, said, We're delighted that David has agreed to be the second sitter in the Missing Portraits series. His links to Harewood are self-evident and we agree on the importance of sharing our histories, however uncomfortable this might first appear. Being honest about the past is the only way to start to address the prejudices of the present and help build a better future. The portrait will be created by local photographer and filmmaker Ashley Carl. Melting